Welcome to Electron Online. In some previous videos, we talked about the vapor pressure when we put two components together into a solution. And the, right, the reason why I call them components, usually we call it solvent and solute. But sometimes uh, when both of them are what we call volatile, meaning they both have vapor pressures of their own, sometimes it's hard to see which one is therefore the solute and which one is the solvent. So let's just call them two components. You put them together, you get a solution. And what happens is, Theoretically, if there's the intermolecular forces between the components of A and the intermolecular forces between the components of B are the same as the intermolecular forces between A and B, everything is the same, then of course there's no particular <clears throat> um, change in the internal energy when you put the two components together into a solution. So the enthalpy is typically around zero. And so therefore we get a typical chart that looks like this where we know that the vapor pressure caused by each of the two components simply add up to the total vapor pressure right here. So for example, if we're over on this side where we can see that the molar concentration of the A component is 100% of the solution, then the vapor pressure of A will then be the total vapor pressure of the solution. If we're on the other side of the chart where 100% of the solution is the component B, so therefore the molar concentration of B is 100% or 1. You can see that the vapor pressure right here, the vapor pressure of B then constitutes the total pressure of the solution together. And so in between where the sum of each of the two components, you can then see that the vapor pressure, let's say we come right here, you can then see that this here would then be the vapor pressure of component A. Uh, this right here would be the vapor pressure of component B, and if you add the two together, you get the total vapor pressure like that. That's the ideal case. But in the case where the intermolecular forces are not all the same, so that the structure of them is so different that the intermolecular forces are different, for example, in case one, where the intermolecular forces between the, the molecules of component A and the molecules of component B are weaker than the intermolecular forces between the uh, molecules of component A or the molecules of component B, then when you put the two together, there will be less of a, an attraction between the molecules on average, and therefore more molecules will then go into the vapor phase. The vapor pressure will then go up, will increase. And so what happens is when you put the two solutions together, these lines are no longer straight, they're no longer linear functions, but you end up with something that looks more like this, where the vapor pressure of A, as it's mixed with so with a component B, the vapor pressure will then increase, kind of like this, and the same for the vapor pressure of B. It will also increase because of the weaker forces between the molecules of A and molecules of B, so it will tend to look more like this. And then, of course, when you put those two vapor pressures together, the total vapor pressure would look a lot more like that than a straight line. So <clears throat> that will happen when the intermolecular forces between the opposite components are weaker than the intermolecular forces between the A components by themselves or the B components by themselves. And you can see there's then the deviation from the, what we call the ideal case. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And so we end up in any case, so the sum, then what would happen, let me use a different color, so that what happens then is that the partial pressure or the vapor pressure of component A would be this much when they're mixed, the vapor pressure of component B would be this much when they're mixed, and so the total pressure would simply be these two together, and that's why you have the total vapor pressure that's this much rather than this much. And so, <clears throat> so that's what happens when you mix non, uh, or I should say non, not the two components that are very different in structure and therefore very different in molecular properties.